Good morning, everybody. This is Kathy, and I have a layout for you. This is for Punched Out Thursday, and Dorothy, Ronnie, and Krista will have a layout for you this week, too, so please go check out their layouts. Now, I wanted to come on here before a lot of noise in the house happens. Um, I want to tell you what I'm thinking. Um, I brought out my circle punches. And if any of you know where I can find a actual oval punch, let me know because I do have some dies, which I don't know. Like, when I first started Punched Out Thursday, I wanted to inspire people to bring out their old punches and and use them and get them on a layout. They are in your stash, and I just want to inspire you to add them to a layout to punch art like Ronnie that that's just amazing what she does. Um, I just, I don't have time. Like, I have five grandkids that I have tons of pictures to, um, you know, scrapbook that I want to get done before, you know, when I'm not here. So, um, anyway, when I first started this, um, it has grown so much, and it's been a year, um, was it January? Um, but since then, uh, Krista and Ronnie and Dorothy has joined, and, oh, I'm just so pleased to how the outcome of using my punches are. So... Being said that, would you guys want us to bring in, like, I know dyes aren't um, punches, but I didn't know if you would want us to start putting in some dies, using dies, or just still using punches. So I would like for you guys to leave me a comment and let me know. It's just for feelers, you know, to find out, you know, what you viewers want to expect from us. All right, so that being said, these are the photos, okay. This is Lane's, Lane is eight now. This is his first, and I I did a photograph already. This is Lane, and he's eight now, and he had Hungry Caterpillar for his birthday. And I decorated his cake, his smash cake, and his... I double layered it and I drew out the caterpillar. Now, I don't have an oval. So, if you guys know where I could find me an oval punch, I do have dies from close to my heart, but they're small. And yeah, so that's why I was asking about the dies if you want us to start, you know. Not completely using dies, but um, it's still punched out of paper, but I don't want to take away from punches, though. But anyway, if you know where I could find a oval punch, let me know, because I kind of want to do this, but I do have other photos to do. So this one, I think I'm just going to punch out circles for a normal size caterpillar. Um, and then I already gutted 
the this rainbow paper. I know it's backwards. There you go. I got it because I want to frame my page with this. And then I don't know if you could see all those colorful dots. So I kind of want to mimic that around my layout. Um, so I kind of want to punch out. So I got my Creative Memories punch. Um, so I thought about putting circles around the border and punch it out of here. So that's what I'm thinking for that piece. Then I already pulled and I'm using my How to Kill a Kit with Style and I'm using the Blue Skies collection. The cardstock matches wonderful with these photos. I just I can't get any better than that, right? So that's what I'm thinking. I'm gonna punch a bunch of holes out of this and I think I I don't know if I'm out of pink in my scraps oh I do have a little bit of pink but I have scraps in here so I'm thinking of that and then I'm going to finish cutting some two inch circles and then I brought my three inch for the red for the head and let's see, and I might punch some, the body out of that too because, you know, it's different colors. So I will be back and I, I think I'll probably just do a voiceover for the rest um, because I need to um, go do something and I will be back. Okay, everybody, I am back. So, I want to lay my photos like this. And I already punched out my circles. And I already laid down my white daisy cardstock, which I love from Close to My Heart. And now, I, I sketched, I drew some pencil lines so that I can glue my circles down. And I love how this layout turned out. At first, I was like, oh, what am I going to do? But I really like it. It's, it's cute. It goes with the cake. And I love how I used my punches this time. And, and this Blue Skies collection. You guys, if you haven't picked this up, go grab it before it runs out. This UV treated cardstock from close to my heart. The rainbow colors. Oh, is so pretty. And you can use it on birthday layouts. You can use it on girl layouts, boy layouts. You need it in your stash. Trust me. It's I I love it. I I adore it. It's it rocks. It really does. I I just look at that. Is it that pretty? And it matches the rainbow paper. So this layout just really pops with the colors. I just it's so cute. I just love it. All right, enough bragging about close to my heart paper. <laughs> All right, so it's been a long time since I put a horizontal across with my photos so I really like that how it turned out so I'm laying the caterpillar across my page it's going to be a big caterpillar so I kind of alternate so see how my punch would be a really good idea but the circles came out okay so I have several pictures of Lane's birthday. In fact, that photo I showed you earlier, I could use an oval punch or a die in my next layout to use another, you know, punch out another caterpillar. But this one's cute too. So I already, I fussy cut some legs out of my 
uh, some scrap black paper for the legs and now I'm doing his face and the antlers and I use a little punch for the eyes gave him green eyes and, and then I make his little antlers and then for the little I don't know what you call um, those little um, things on top of the caterpillar um, I drew them on the cake too but yeah I I bet my <coughs> excuse me I bet my grandson would know Braxton he's into bugs and stuff but yeah I cut little strips which I am ahead of myself but um, I cut little strips of yellow and then I get out my pink fringe scissors and cut little fringes but let's see yeah I'm still finishing up my face okay so I decide to put some foam tape behind the um, my little caterpillar first <laughs> then I get out my little fringe scissors and stuff there they are <laughs> all right so isn't he cute <laughs> so there's where I cut some fringe there's one more that I didn't get cut don't those little rainbow circles make the cakes stand out I really like that so um has everybody been scrapping? What's everybody been doing? Um, have you been watching any movies on Netflix? Um, I just got through watching um, Bad... Um, is it Bad Breaking? Breaking Bad? Um, it was okay. You know, it got really... It got better toward, you know toward the end of the show. Uh, now I'm watching Lone Mire or Lawn Mire Lone Mire. So yeah, I don't really do much, so I watch a lot of stuff on Netflix. So if you have any um, suggestions on what to watch, leave them below. Um I'm putting my title down and on the right side on my desk I have a couple green leaves and they already have the holes punched out and it was perfect for the layout because caterpillars like to eat the eat holes out of leaves and these leaves already have the holes out so I had to lift up part of the letters out and I found this tag and it had a happy birthday and I really wanted to put happy birthday on my layout. So, so there's the leaves. So I really wanted to put them over there. So yeah, so I had to lift up part of the title. Thank goodness they didn't stick down all the way. So I kind of lifted up some of the letters that way I can nestle those leaves see the holes in them weren't they perfect perfect for this layout so there I kind of lay the the and the V and E over on top of the leaves everything just worked out perfect and I found the perfect butterfly since a caterpillar turned into a butterfly. All right, get those glued down or stuck down. They're still stuck down pretty good. I don't know if you can hear my fan. I'm having a horrible hot flash. My husband freezes and he'll turn the air up to 75 and then I sweat. <laughs> 
So we have the war of turning the air up and down, up and down. <laughs> I can keep it on 71, 72, and then he will turn it up to 75. <clears throat> All right, the last thing I do is add a little sprinkle here and there. So please go check out Dorothy and Krista and Ronnie and see what they're doing this week. And don't forget to leave your input down below about the ovals and the dyes. And I will see you next week. And thank you all for coming. Bye-bye.